I'm going to be showing you how to make a throw pillow cover. Come on. We did it together. Hi friends, how are you doing today? I'm excited to be here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments, for um, the likes, for subscribing. Now we have 400 subscribers. We are so excited. Thank you for all your feedbacks. They've been so amazing. We are so happy to have you on board every time. And today, we're back again and guess what guess what you want to guess it i said it in one of my videos i'm going to be showing you how to make a throw pillow cover you have throw pillows in your living room you have throw pillows in your bedroom are you tired of the cover trust me you can make one by yourself without stress your children can make one for you and you can make one in this video i'm going to show you a to z of how to make a throw pillow cover so we're going to make it from the beginning i'll tell you different types of materials that you need for it and their basic materials that you can get if you don't have a sewing machine no problem with needle and thread you're good to go and guess what i want you to watch to the end there is something that i'm giving out for your time for your contributions and to celebrate the 400 subscribers that we have i'm going to do something today i'm going to give somebody something so watch out let's do this together come on so what are the materials that you need to make a throw pillow cover we need a throw pillow insert or it's called a throw pillow form some people call it insert or form then we need a fabric so i'll be using this fabric today so i got this beautiful fabric so for the throw pillow half of a meter will be okay so and that should even remain so you don't really need to get multiple yards so at least you should make like depending on the size of the pillow you can get three throughs in a meter then you're going to need a scissors, a measuring tape, a ruler, needle and thread, or a sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can do basic stitching. But I'll be using a sewing machine. But it's super easy. So your children can make something and you can also make it. I'll say you can get a sewing machine. At times you have something at home that you just want to amend. You have um, things like this art and craft that you just want to make or you want your children to learn something and you, or you yourself want to learn. So I'll say you can get a sewing machine. Something, it could be something a little bit small or medium size that you know you can easily work with. So let's do something. This throw pillow cover is 14 by 14. That is the length and breadth. 14 by 14 inches. So most of the time it comes in like different sizes. There's 18 by 18, there's 16 by 16, and I think there's a 12 by 12. So we'll be using this one just to double show. You start with measuring the throws so you just start from if you look at this there's a join in here and there's another one here so you measure from one joining to another so if I measure from one joining to another this is actually giving me a 15 but it says 14 by 14 if I do the same thing here, this is a 15. So let me do something. Let me measure it around just to be sure. Yeah. So this 
so that is why it is better to measure it says 14 by 14 I could have cut the fabric based on that measurement 14 by 14 but it's nice I measured it by myself and I have it a little bit bigger than stated so this is almost 15 so what that means is you're going to take that into consideration when you're cutting your fabric so we'll be cutting the fabric now based on the measurement that we have so when you're cutting your fabric you had a sewing allowance so most of the time I do like an inch so we have 15 by 15 15 length 15 breadth so what we're going to do is we're going to cut 16 by 16 so that by the time we're sewing the edges together at the end of the day it's going to be the size that we want and some people use half inch but in cutting just to be on the safe side it's good just have an extra half so I do one inch so this is the fabric we're going to use so I can keep this but I just want to show you that you can use needle and thread so just get the thread that matches the color of the fabric and you can use any fabric so at times you have the throw that you bought from the store but you just want to change the cover because the insert is good the form inside is still very good so you don't have to throw that away it's just the cover that is like maybe it's worn out and you just want to replace it and have another one so we're going to be using this please um, a little bit about this channel it's going to be so um, inspiring it's going to be more like um, an educational channel where I'll be sharing different tips there are things um, that you use in the house that you like to make by yourself over time I'll be showing you how you can make different styles I will show you how to make skirts different types of skirts I'll show you how to make different kinds of tops so over time there will be different things that I'll be sharing please I would like you to subscribe you're going to see the subscribe button over there subscribe and there'll be a bell by the side you can also click on that that is a notification bell so that anytime I make a post you're going to be the first person to see it now there are different kinds of throw pillows so for this one we'll be making the envelope design there are some throw pillows that comes with zippers there are some that comes in like envelope designs and there are some that they just sew it all round like that the one that they sew it all round you can't remove the cover to wash so I always prefer the one that is like the envelope design so that you can open it and bring it out and wash it and you can always change the cover anytime at time you know you, in your homes you want to have a different color you want to have maybe change from red to like yellow to teal so you can always change the cover to match your own design so today I'm going to be showing you how to make the envelope design you can always remove that and replace it to clean or wash the cover remember we're making a 15 by 15 size of through cover so if we are making the envelope design the front size is going to be different from the back because it's going to be an envelope design it's going to overlap so for the front we are going to cut the 16 by 16 so let me cut the front so what you're going to do is you take your fabric you have your measuring tape in between I got this measuring tape from Amazon so it's like three in one and it's a good deal I think I got it for five dollars I think so I can't remember five or six dollars so I got this three so you can I'll put the link in the description so you can get this if you want to get it also for the throw pillow insert I'll put the link of where you can get them they are different sizes so you can get any one that you want so have that we're going to measure 16 by 16 by using the inches the back is centimeters so we're using the inches so you get your 16 
and it's good to have markers or chalk so i have one here this is a chalk so you can use a marker no marker that will stain your fabric you need to be careful so most of the time i just get a box of chalk so i use so this is 16 so you're going to mark the spots by 16 I'm sure you can see so this is 16 by 16 so I'm marking the spots so I have 16 here and 16 over there so this is super easy technique to measure for beginners else you can fold and cut eight by eight and that's okay but at least i want this to be super easy for you because some people don't they, they don't know how to sew it's their first time so just open it up and do a 16 by 16. so i have 16 in both places then you can use your ruler to get the straight line so that you can have accurate measurements that's why you need the ruler so you're going to just use the chalk you can see the ruler just the straight line straight down same thing over here that's it the scissors it's always good to have good scissors as in very good scissors otherwise it will spoil your fabric when you're cutting it i got this as well from amazon i got it a long time ago i'll check if it's still available it's very good so i have different types of scissors but this is very good so you're going to cut it out i'm sure you can see what i'm doing So you follow the line that you rolled remember we rolled it so that's going to make it easy for you to cut so just follow the line and cut it there you go so this is the front the 16 by 16 inches that's it so for the back that's going to be a little bit different remember we cut 16 by 16 for the front so for the back we're going to make it 16 by 16 divided by 2 that is 8 because the back is going to overlap each other so that you can open it and put in the pillow you remember that style we have it for pillowcases and we have it for two pillow covers so you're going to open it so because it's going to be open so that's going to be 16 that we have here divided by 2 so the breadth is still the same thing 16 inches it's just the length that we are working with now so the length is going to be 8 so that's going to be 16 by 8 instead of 16 by 16 because we are cutting 2 so because the back is going to overlap we're going to add extra two and a half inches to the length so remember i said it's going to be 16 divided by two because it's like two sides for the back so you have 16 divided by two that's going to be eight plus two and a half inches and to cut that i'm going to fold it 
unlike the way I cut this one that I just um, measured 16 by 16 open like this remember I opened it like this measured 16 by 16 and I cut it I can do the same thing and measure 16 by 8 plus the two and a half that's 16 by 10 and a half well I need to do that twice because the back is going to have the upper part and the lower part to overlap each other so that you can open it and put the through pillow insert instead of cutting it twice I can just fold it into two and save time so I'll just fold it into two look at it so it's, I'm folding it into two so you can fold the reverse side that is the back so fold into two and measure so you measure the ten and a half you can use pin to make it easy so that the fabric doesn't shift because it could be shifting left and right so you can use pin to hold it so you measure ten and a half by 16 so the length remains the same thing remember you are joining the back to the front so it should still be 16 for the breadth so that is 16 by 10 and a half so you use your marker your chalk and the same thing your ruler then you cut it so you just cut that part There you go so these are the two sides the upper part and the lower part which is 16 by 10 and a half now we're going to sew but before sewing to make it easy for you I will say fold the edge into two and iron it at the beginning we measured 15 by 15 for the pillow insert then we had it one inch sewing allowance so now our sewing allowance we are going to make use of it because that is what we're going to sew then we have two and a half that we added to the back so you're going to fold it into two just the edge just like half inch not like it. you're not folding everything into two just like the edge you're not going to touch the three sides the left, the right, and the lower part. No, you're going to leave that. It's only one side that you're going to fold. And you do that for the two pieces for the back. So you fold just one side of the 16 inches. Just one side. So you fold this side as well. So just fold it twice. Then, let me see. Then you iron this. Take it, just fold it and iron. I don't want to use this table. You need to just lay it and just fold and iron. So just fold it twice and iron it. Look at this. This is it. So this is the folding. So you're going to go to the sewing machine, or if you're using your hand, you just sew it straight down. You send it. So I iron both. Look at the two. So that's half inch. So now we're going to join the fabrics. This is the edge that I iron for the back. What we want to do now is just to sew it down, like top stitch it. In another video, I hope you can see my face. I actually want you to see the machine very well. So this is me, I'm here. In another video, I'm going to show us how to pass the thread. Because some of you, maybe you have like new sewing machine and you don't know. So I'll show you different parts of the machine and how to pass your thread through the bobbin, things like that, and how to reel your thread, basic things. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> That's all.
the same thing. Remember the back is two sides. So you just put that, same thing. Stephanie, that's it, so easy. A magic scissors. There you go. That's it. This is the front. I didn't touch that. I only worked on one side of the back. Can you see? I didn't touch the other part. Look at it. I only bent one side. The same thing. I didn't touch this. So this is the front. I didn't touch it at all. So you see what I'm going to do next. We have three pieces. So this is the front. This is the beautiful part that we need. This is the back. So I'm facing both sides to each other. The two both sides. For the front and the back. Take it. So this is the side. I just want to do that. So just lay it. For the back. The part that we top stitch. Is going to be in the middle. So it's facing up. Like this. So it won't be at the tip so that you can sew this round. So the part that we top stitch will face down. The same thing, the second part is going to overlap and be on it. So I just placed it on it. Look at it. I just placed this A. I got it. This is the front. This is the back. So the back is overlapping. Then you sew everything round. The four edges. So you just sew the four edges round. So I can use paint to hold it so that you can be sure it's not going to shift while you're sewing. So I'm just putting them against each other. Get it. That's what I did. You can see it. So that is our 16 by 16 now. So the two and a half that I added to the back, they are now overlapping. If you have questions, you can just ask me in the comment section. I will answer everybody. And if you really like this video, I will also appreciate it if you can tell me. Just your comments. I like to see your comments. So now I'll go to the sewing machine again and just sew them around. Then I'll come again and show you the outcome. Remember I said you can use paint to hold it to make it easy while you're sewing. So see what I did. So I just put some paint at the edges round. So it's not falling. That's it. You can see the overlapping. So this is the front and Here's the back. So I just put them on each other. The folded side will be in the middle because that is it is the middle that you're going to open to put in your throw. So now we're going to just sew all the four edges round. Let's do it together. done so let me take out the pins yeah that's it so what I did just round I just sewed it out so I'm going to end this edges you may not have a hemming machine so what you can do is just to use your 
zigzag part so that this you can just trim it use your scissors and just trim all the sides just to make it neat so this is it now let's turn it out and see our beautiful troll pillow cover look at it so you make sure these edges are out all these edges are out look at it we have a true pillar cover you're going to iron it so that is it look at our true pillar cover look at it So you're going to iron it so let's put the inserts this is it look at it so you put this in here open it and put the other side in Come on, we did it together. We made this together. Look at it. See the trophy left over. Look at this. I have another trophy insert, which is another the trope the foam. I have another one. Do you want to try it? Tell me in the comment section, and I'm going to give you this if you're in Nova Scotia, Canada. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you so you can get any fabric you can use Ankara fabric you can use any color so if you throw pillow in your sitting room your living room in your bedroom if the throw pillow is bad now you know what to do you don't have to get another one go to any fabric store get a beautiful fabric that you love you can or you, you can get any fabric use any beautiful one that you love get this inside so I'm going to also put the link in the description box where you can get this insert it's not expensive and it comes in like double and you can get one if you want one this is it so this is easy just open this bring it out and wash this came out so well this is beautiful so tell me if you're going to try this tell me what you think about the video do you like it i would like to see your comment i would like to hear what you think this is our beautiful true pillow and i love this so thank you for watching please remember to like subscribe and comment share with your friends as well your kids can watch your children can watch thank you and please you can follow us as well on instagram at paysetter fashion empire paysetter fashion empire there you go that's it <laughs> thank you so much and see you next time and watch out put on your notification bell the next class oh my god it's going to be super amazing and if you have anything in mind that you want to learn tell me put it on say it in the comment section write it type it thank you enjoy the rest of your day take care bye